dark past of Chuck in Brawl Stars. Chuck has been in the game for 9 months now, but is he actually a train conductor, or is he something much, much worse? This is the hidden backstory of Chuck in Brawl Stars. Chuck's in-game description says that he used to be a maestro. This is a type of distinguished conductor or performer of classical music. Chuck traded the symphonies for the ghost station, all in the hope of discovering the next big thing in music. I don't know what music he thinks he's gonna make in an abandoned ghost station, but it's safe to say that his sense of music isn't the only thing that changed after he found this ghost station. Today we're gonna look through Chuck's insane backstory and see where he is now. Or should I say, who he is. Some people think Chuck himself is a train because of the way his super works. He places it on posts and then dashes between them to run people over. But the truth is a little bit different. If we take the time to look through Chuck's brawler model not so closely, we can see that Chuck is actually in a wheelchair. This gives us a possible answer to why Chuck actually quit being a conductor for a symphony. Being in a wheelchair made his life unnecessarily hard. He had to climb the stage stairs and not being able to stand up made it hard for the symphony to see him when he conducted them. People complained about Chuck's terrible conducting, and eventually he gave in. Chuck banished himself to the most abandoned place in Star Park, the ghost station, to better his ability to conduct symphonies and play his own music. Little did he know, the train station was less than abandoned. But what were these problems? Gus is the other member of the Ghost Train Trio. I'm not going to go into depth about Gus's full backstory, but basically, when Gus was released, his in-game description was this. Calling an abandoned train ride home, Gus loves balloons. As legend has it, one day he followed a balloon dog too far, got lost, and has been there ever since. Gus was just at Star Park with his parents, he got lost in the ghost station because he chased a balloon dog too far. This dog is now his best friend Spooky, which he uses as a super to shield himself and his teammates. Many people believe that Gus is dead because of his description, and his ghost haunts the Brawl Stars ghost station. This was until Brawl Stars randomly changed the in-game description. They changed it to this. Gus looks so much like a ghost child that he's often mistaken for one. Perhaps fittingly, he's an enthusiast of all things supernatural since he's too innocent to be scared. The only thing that this new description changed is that Gus is definitely not dead, right? Chuck was released on November 11, 2023, and Gus's in-game description was changed on November 24th, the same year, almost two weeks later. Why would Brawl Stars randomly change Gus's description a full year after it was released, and why did they change it so close to when Chuck was released? Was it because they didn't want a character to have a sad backstory, or was the real reason a little bit darker? Chuck is now a train conductor at the ghost station, and many people believe that Chuck actually ran over Gus with his train. Chuck's voice lines help us paint a picture of what actually happened the day Gus allegedly was killed. One of Chuck's voice lines says, Alibur! The pain train! Another says, Attenzione! Which in Italian can translate to, Watch out. Another one of his voice lines says, Prossima fermata, ospedale! Which in Italian means, Next stop. Hospital. All of these voice lines together tell the story of Chuck running over Gus with the train, starting with Chuck getting on the train, then seeing Gus on the track of what he thought was an abandoned train station. When Chuck saw Gus, it was already too late. As it turned out, there wouldn't be a next stop for Gus at all. But why would Brawl Stars try to hide this? They changed Gus's in-game description, making people think he's still alive. And why have you never heard of this incident? In the Brawl Stars animation, The Prison Break, released 9 months ago, we can see that Chuck went to jail for killing Gus. He was supposed to stay there, but then the animation continues. Belle and Pearl, two members of the Gold Arm Gang, appear outside of the prison. They break into the prison to help the last member of the trio, Sam, Belle's husband, escape. This leads to the two other prisoners escaping too. These prisoners are Bull and Chuck. You already know why Chuck was there, but you might not know why Bull was. In the Mystery of the Hub season on March 6, 2023, Alley Cat Bull find the kidnapping of one of the most popular brawlers, Spike. He ended up getting caught by Detective Grey, who, with the help of the newest brawler, RT, found out what Bull did and brought him to justice. After Chuck is released from the prison, he instantly starts chasing all the other brawlers in the animation. After this, Chuck isn't seen in any other animations on the official Brawl Stars channel. But what happened to Chuck? I think Chuck disguised himself as another one of the brawlers to make sure he wouldn't get caught again. Or maybe one of the other brawlers disguised themselves as Chuck. Chester. 
Chester was released on December 12, in 2022, almost a year before Chuck. But if we take a look at both of their voice lines, something very interesting reveals itself. Chuck has a voice line which says, All aboard! The pain train! And Chester has a very similar voice line that says, All aboard the pain train! Woo woo! If we also look at both of the brawlers, they look very similar, with only slight changes in facial structure. Chester could have easily disguised himself as Chuck just to kill Gus, then disguise himself back as Chester. But why would he do this? Was this another one of Chester's little pranks that went wrong? Or is there a more sinister motive behind the murder of Gus? Thank you guys for watching. My name is Chihuahua, and if you're new to my channel, it would mean a lot if you subscribe. It's completely free, and I promise you won't regret it. Make sure to share the video to whoever you think would find it interesting. On the screen is the playlist of all the other videos like this one. Make sure to watch another video so YouTube knows to recommend my channel to other people just like you. Bye.